let's look at the different types of joints you can do with df.merge the four different types of joints are left joint right joint inner joint and outer joint out of this in my opinion left joint and inner joint are very common in my experience nevertheless i will explain all of them now what left joint means is let's say you have two different data frames this is df1 and there's a smaller data frame which contains a subset of rows from df1 but also contains rows that are not present in df1 i'm going to say it call it as df2 i'm also going to assume that df1 is the first parameter that i'm going to pass to pd.merge pd.merge takes two parameters two data frame parameters df1 is going to be the first df2 is going to be the second this is the right data frame this is the left data frame all right now left join means all the rows present in df1 are going to be present in the output result the output result say let's call it df this will contain the same rows that df1 contains this is left join all right right join is true for the opposite if you call right join on this all the rows present in df2 will be present in output all right this is right join now what is inner join the output of inner join will contain all the rows that are common between df1 and df2 that is inner join outer join means all the rows that are not only common all the rows that are ever present between df1 and df2 no row will be skipped all the rows will be present in the output that is outer join so those are the four different types of joins implementing them is a matter of setting the parameters right for pd.merge i'm going to use two different data sets for this this is based on empty cars data set this is a very popular data set that contains the car specifications for various different car models now this is actually a subset of the empty cars data set now here in df1 this contains 25 rows and four columns the four columns are car name mileage number of cylinders displacement df2 on the other hand contains 13 rows this is a subset of 25 but it contains some rows that are not present in 25 also all right this also contains four columns only car name is common between both of them we want to join them based on car name all right besides this this has weight hue sec and engine type now we want to merge both of these data sets all right besides this in addition to these two df1 and df2 i'm going to create one more version of df2 where this car name car name is renamed to just car that's what df3 contains df3 contains same information as df2 but car name column is renamed here all right okay first left join do a left join based on df1 and df2 you can imagine the same rows present in df1 will be present in the output same 25 rows is present here now in places in rows where the data is not present in df2 those will be marked with missing values nans these rows are not present in df2 only these set of rows are common all right so this is how df left join works the parameters you need to set are you just set how equal to left you also need to tell pd.merge based on what column you are going to merge that also needs to be provided all right so this is left join now suppose if you want to merge df1 and df3 right df3 does not have the same column name it does not have car name as a column here so what will you do what you need to do is you need to explicitly specify what is the joining column based on the left hand side data frame which is df1 so that is specified using left on and on the right hand side data frame you need to specify that tell this information and it will work all right so the same output you are getting here the column name is going to be the same as what you have in df1 left hand side data frame all right now right join very similar you just set how equal to right the output data frame will have all the rows present in df2 this is right join now inner join will have all the rows that are common between df1 and df2 so this is inner join containing all the common rows all right now full join will be the largest output because it will contain all the columns from both df1 as well as df2 so totally 32 rows are present all right so that's the output now there is an alternate syntax to merging which is you can use the merge method available in the data frame itself just pass in the other data frame mention how and also mention the on field based on what field you want to merge 
left on and right on will still work on this. So that's all about the different types of joints. The challenge for this is a slightly involved challenge. So the challenge for this task is the same two data sets you are going to use. Get the rows that are not common between DF1 and DF2. If you want to get the rows that are common between DF1 and DF2, you will use the inner joint, right? But what we want for this output is the rows that are not common between DF1 and DF2. Think through it and try to give it a shot. Meanwhile, I will show you the answers right away. So here's the solution. What we are going to do here is, here I'm going to first import it, all right? Then I'm going to first compute the inner join and the outer join. Inner join will give you the common rows. Outer join is going to give you all the rows. So from all, you subtract the common rows. This will give you the non-common rows. That is the funda that we are going to use. Let's implement it. So we have both inner and outer join here. From the outer output, we are going to drop all the columns present in the inner output. So that's the result we need. Congratulations if you are able to figure it out.